We are standing in one of the most important sections of the exhibition, titled Subjective Realism. And the actual word comes from a book that one of the main uh, artists in the group, Ramses Yunan, wrote in 1938, and the title of the book was The Purpose of the Contemporary Painter. And in the book, he talks about surrealism, and he reflects the opinions of Agui Liberté about what surrealism was like at the time. So he says that there are two kinds of surrealism. There's the surrealism that is well illustrated by the paintings of Dali and Magritte that is very, very premeditated, very, very thought through, and it doesn't leave enough space for um, the subconscious. And then there's another kind of surrealism, which is the surrealism of automatic drawing and writing, which is too much about the subconscious and letting go of your consciousness to the point that it becomes too self-centered and uh, almost narcissistic. For Agui Liberté and Ramses Yunan, subjective realism is a new definition of surrealism, whereby the artist can be subjective enough to choose any particular theme or form that they wish to use and to talk about, and realism, which is their way of saying that they need to connect to the reality in which they are working. So the work has to have a certain resonance with the society that they are trying to, in a way, serve or change or critique. So this work here, from 1938, is a great example of their own approach to surrealism. We look at the painting, it borrows its aesthetic from very uh, common to our eyes, other surrealist works by many artists that we are you know, more familiar with. But then when you look even closer, and for the trained eye that knows something about the history of Egypt and pharaonic art, you recognize immediately that this figure is actually the goddess Nut, the goddess of the sky from ancient Egypt, who's usually a symbol of fertility and life which in this case is actually depicted as a broken, emaciated, fragmented body, and three skeleton-like figures almost starved walking in this kind of surreal landscape. So this is really a great example of this negotiation of what subjective realism as a new definition of surrealism is all about. So the exhibition is divided into these different chapters and uh, the idea is actually to highlight really the core engagements and the core concerns of Art et Liberté during the time of their activities. And if you will, the first few sections, the first half of the show in a sense is a bit more about um, their subject matters, perhaps a bit more about the formal styles such as the broken body or um, the role of the women and how you do depict women and the, uh, the influence of the war. But the other half of the exhibition, in a sense, is dedicated to a more theoretical and a more intellectual contribution of the group, highlighting their engagement with surrealism as a central form, of course, but also with literature on the other hand. So if you want, it takes you on a journey, really, uh, rather than a chronological approach, really through the core concerns and what the contributions of the group uh, was during the time of their activities.